Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creation. Do you agree? Yeah. Mm. You're knowing what you are wanting. Why you are here. What you have come to receive. What you have come to offer. What you have come to understand more clearly. You like the idea of taking thought beyond what it has been before. Do you like being in on the leading edge of things? Do you feel that you are in that position more or are you just trying to figure your life out? Some of all of it. Are there things happening that you don't understand or do you know why they're happening and you're just wanting to get better at offering a deliberate vibration? That's mostly it for you, isn't it? Life does keep happening, doesn't it? Because life keeps responding to vibrations that are already in motion to patterns of vibration that's what a belief is you know a belief is a pattern of vibration are you getting clear with the understanding that you are a vibrational being continuously offering vibration and that the law of attraction is responding to your vibration and then matching you up with vibrational equivalency in other words you get what you think about whether you want it or not and that's hard to take until you've got control of your thoughts and you know what you're never gonna have control of your thoughts not completely because you are here in an environment of contrast to which you are responding you just can't be in this world that is manifested and by that we mean you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch which means you are interpreting vibration into those physical sensual awarenesses and so you're having exposure to experiences to which you are having reactions and sometimes those reactions even if you don't say something out loud your reactions are vibrational in other words sometimes you see something and it makes you flinch or wish it were otherwise and so that's what we mean when we say it's not uncommon it's not abnormal to react as life comes but you want to keep that to a minimum you want to be less of a reactor and more of an actor more of a getting out ahead of it more of a establishing your vibrational stance so that you're steady in a contrasting environment and then life is really fun even in contrasting environments you don't mind a little contrast in fact we know you you like the drama <laughs> you do you like to be enlivened you like a good problem to solve you like questions to which you are seeking answers it's all part of your evolution it's all part of the expansion of the universe it's part of the evolution of all things all species all that is but you do want to have some sense of how it works so that you have some measure in fact from our perspective a large measure of creative control and that's what we are about we are here to help you to understand the laws of the universe we're here to help you understand who you really are and how you fit into all of this we want to help you to embrace not just tolerate not just accept the diversity that surrounds you but embrace it embrace it acknowledge the value of its existence because out of contrast out of knowing what you don't want is born your focused keyword your focused clarity about what you do want so the only thing that ever feels like it's going wrong with you is when life gives you focused clarity but you don't focus on the clarity life gives you focused clarity about what you do want but you stay focused on what you don't want and that's a sort of human trait it doesn't serve you very well where you stay way too long focused upon the problem trying to get to the bottom of the problem when the vibration of the problem and the vibration of the solution are really different vibrational frequencies the vibration of a question and the vibration of an answer is a very different frequency 
So sometimes when you're focused upon the problem, you want to poke at it more to make it bigger. That's okay. Because when you make the problem bigger, you make the solution bigger. In fact, they're always equivalent. Problems and solutions are equivalent vibrationally. Different vibrations, but equivalent in velocity, so to speak. You see what we're getting at? So if you sort of don't like that, then you sort of prefer this. And it's sort of boring. But if you sort of don't like it, and you don't do anything about cleaning it up, it'll get bigger. So you really don't like it. And then you really want something different. Now there's something you can get your teeth in. Now you can feel the solution. Now you might say in human terms, oh, that problem's worth me working on. A problem that's just, eh, you're lazy. We love you so much, but we get it. You don't want to make mountains out of molehills. You don't want to exaggerate something, but here's how it works. If something's bothering you and you don't figure out what you desire and then through practice thought, train your vibration or accomplish a belief that matches your desire so that there's no daylight, so to speak, so that there's no vibrational variance between your desire and your belief, then you're always going to have that sort of edgy feeling when you want something and you yourself are vibrationally opposed to it it's uncomfortable do you have a friend or someone you know and there's a subject that you both come to often and so you discuss it fairly frequently and you have opposing points of view and with this friend or acquaintance do you ever state your case which just causes your friend to state their case which rarely convinces you just makes you make your case stronger which rarely convinces them just makes them make their case stronger you got any friends like that <laughs> so you just keep getting more and more tense when you're on that subject you know what we're talking about well we would like you to understand that you're doing that just with you all the time it's you and you it's your desires and your beliefs at odds just like that I want this but you say and the more you say you want it often the more you but 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 it and the more you but 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 it the more you launch rockets of desire so your desire gets stronger and often so does your resistance don't do that <laughs> other than the increased drama you really like to conquer things so you make big problems so that you can conquer them so that you can claim you've conquered them and we say it is a form of creation it's just going about it the hard way don't you think